Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Vault White. In the last part, we battled Chili right here. Yeah. Yeah. We battled Chili in the Abundant Shrine, which is where we are right now. And in this part, we're going to keep exploring the Abundant Shrine, which is probably going to consist of a lot of trainer battles and random items. Slash hidden items, rather. Followed by a certain a attempt at a legendary capture. Or an attempt at, a, at the capture of a certain legendary, rather. It's a Bronzor. What are Bronzor doing here again? I don't understand. Honestly, I don't. I don't. Why, why are you here? Oh well. I don't really need to worry about you. Because. Item! Enigma Berry. What is an Enigma Berry? Well, let's find out, shall we? Because I don't know! Berries, pouch, Enigma Berry. Held by a Pokemon, it restores its HP if it's hit by any super effective attack. By how much? Let's actually look this up. I'm sorry that this isn't going to be that interesting to, to see. I want to make sure that I'm not getting things wrong here. The, the Enigma Berry. It restores Holder's HP. Yeah. How much does it restore? Uh, it recovers a quarter of its HP. Wow. Wow, I'm very impressed by that, actually. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Enigma Berry. It heals your Pokemon by one, th one fourth. Fourth by a quarter of their HP when it's hit by a super effective attack. That's interesting, and ridiculously broken, potentially. Dowsing Machine! Well, this isn't obvious at all. Actually, I don't know what I'm, what I'm looking for. I assume it's going to be something on this lake. Uh, come on, don't do this to me. Slowpoke! Wild level 58 Slowpoke. It's great. Slowpoke have Drizzle? Well, wow, I, I, I like that, actually. I forgot about that. We have a Bomb Mushroom, which, if I recall, is just something to sell. That's great right there, that is. And that's an item over there. I want it. I can't, I can't have it by going that way. Let's waste my time with another round of battle with a cottony. <laughs> uh, hey. This is getting silly. Come on. I don't need to deal with you. Go away. Go away and stop wasting my time. Or I'm going to have to kill you. <laughs> I don't want to kill you. I'm slightly pacifist, except I'm not because I defeat people on a regular basis. I'm such a hypocrite. <laughs> okay, you're getting annoying. You're in, you're irritating me. Goodbye. Mega horn. I like that would have worked anyway. Flying and steel type, man. Quad resistant. The fact that you actually got an attack off is, even if it missed, is impressive. I mean, you are what thirty levels below me, so. The fact that you survive one of my attacks is fairly impressive, even if it was just from a Skarmory. That's a Murkrow, and I don't even want to deal with it. Just go away. Stupid random battles that aren't worth that are worth barely any experience ever. Let's just nearly get to the end. Damn it. Another Cottony! Go away, Cottony! Jeez. Why are you even here? I don't even I don't understand. Why is this place not full of ridiculously overpowered Pokemon? And grass types. But it's got a grass type, Cottony. <laughs> That's the only one I've seen so far. This is the kind of area that would fit grass types especially. I mean it's <laughs> It's called the Abundant Shrine. Abundant. As in, like 
a lot. And generally, usually something to do with nature, for some reason or another. Abundance is usually, yeah, like, in reference to nature of some kind of or another. Kind of fits, grass types and such. That's a lot of damage, because Tangrowth have a lot of HP. Zebstriker... Well, I, I can stay in. I can stay in and deal with a Zebstriker. Because I want to heal. Wild charges, he's faster than me. Well, that's annoying. The, the fact that you survived, I am very impressed by. Healing! Yay. Zebstriker also have flame charge. I'm actually going to switch. I expected to be able to deal with this fairly easily. Apparently not. Kind of sucks. Bakugami's turn. Bakugami's turn. <laughs> How do you like resistance? Immunity, in fact. Earthquake! And you use agility. It's not double team, man. It's not increasing your evasiveness. You aren't going to be able to, to dodge this no matter how fast you are. I know that makes no sense, but I don't care. Hooray. Whoop. And muscles dinged. 89. The electrode. I think Marilyn can handle an electrode. As long as it doesn't explode. That would suck. Explosion right now? Uh, that kind of suck. Electrode. It's level 87. It is the fastest Pokemon in Generation 1, so it will almost certainly outspeed. Or I could be EV trained in speed, apparently. Or maybe have high, high IVs. I don't know. <laughs> Why? Why is an Electrode got a got Gyro Ball? Electrode is the fastest Pokemon in Generation 1. Why does it have Gyro Ball? A move that's, that increases in power the slower you are compared to your opponent. You'd only be able to, to get any, f any decent damage out of it if you were fighting a Deoxys speed form or something ridiculous like that. Or, uh, or a Ninjask. That's an Amoongus. I'm just going to stay in. Amoon uh, Marilyn can handle Amoongus fairly easily. Grass Psychic. Yeah, uh, Grass... Grass Psychic. Grass uh, Poison, man. Most... <laughs> grass... Grass Poison was the... Uh, was the most common grass type in Generation 1 and 2. I think. It was more common than... Uh, it was more common to see grass poison types than than pure grass types. As weird as that is. Ding 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 ding. Item? No? There was an item here, up here, probably. And it's a tiny mushroom. God damn it. Why? 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 Come on. That's a bronze on. Hi. Here are all the tough Pokemon. This one's level 65. Ouch. That's a that's a level and a half. Okay, I do actually need to do some switching. Just just switching uh, Marilyn up. That's all I need to do. Yeah. Mm. Oh, special battle! What's it gonna be with? Oh God, it's it's two bronze on. Oh no! I'm just gonna run. I don't need to fight these. I don't want to fight these. Bronze on are tough. It'll take a lot of my time. I'm just gonna fight this guy instead. <laughs> Landorus, huh? <laughs> this guy's got an idea of what uh, of what's here. Emerald, <laughs> youngster, Emerald. What are you doing here, protagonist from Pokemon Emerald? I think. Or a sphere. <laughs> yeah, Sudowoodo is not a tough Pokemon. Like, ever. Uh, self destruct! Screw you! Frickin' self destruct. Yeah! Wow, Marilyn survived that? 
Okay, Emerald has... Emerald is actually changed from the... Uh, from the first... Fr from normal black and white. Snorlax. I can't fight a Snorlax with a... <laughs> with a severely weakened Alakazam. Bakugami should be able to deal with it though. Okay, Emerald. Emerald is actually, yeah, he's, he's actually different from his normal... Normally it's uh, youngster Lester, who's quite weak in general, really. But... Now we've got this guy, who has a full team. And yet isn't... yet hasn't got any event or, event events centered around him. Giga Impact. Oh, I hate you too. <laughs> but you're not going to get very far. Because Giga Impact, you can only do once every two turns. Tut, tut, tut. You should learn your, uh, your Pokemon. -ing. Mantine. Mm -hmm. Panther can handle a Mantine fairly easily. Mantine, water and flying type, special bulk. A special bulk, it's its special bulk is massive. It can take so many hits as a special uh, special special attacks. Even from electric types, it can take loads of hits from. Just its special defense is excellent. That's some damage. Unfortunately its HP isn't excellent. It's okay, but it isn't excellent. Sceptile. Alright, switch do it to, to, to uh, Bakugami to deal with that as well. You may have speed on your side, but <laughs> speed isn't going to help you too much. Because in a Pokemon battle, speed only, only makes you go first. Although, crits help too, I guess. Well, fine, screw you too then. Jeez. Jeez! Muscles turn. Muscles can take you. I have faith in muscles. Because muscles is a flying type. And steel type. I have faith in muscles because muscles is broken as all hell. This Skarmory, this Skarmory has saved me from so, has, has, has beaten so many battles for me. It's insane, including the majority of the Elite Four. All thanks to the disgusting broken power of steel types. Dusclops. Why are you not a Dusk Noir? Or whatever. I'm not complaining. Unless it has an Eevee light on. In which case, I will complain loudly. Very loudly. Panther, your turn. Yeah. I'm not too worried about this Dusclops as long as it doesn't have an Eevee light on. Because the Eevee light Dusclops is BS. I mean, it's, it's perfectly legitimate in the game's terms. Doesn't make it any more fair or... Like, not evil at all. Freaking... <laughs> Dusclops was a, was a Pokemon built to... Curse body. Dusclops was a Pokemon built in Generation 3 to be a fully evolved tank. And then it got an, an evolution in Generation 4 that made it a better tank. Then it got access to the Eviolite because it was, wasn't fully evolved. Oh, Frick Crunch is not, not able, it's disabled. Now, D Dusclops was already built to be a tank, and then with the addition of its, uh, of its evolution to Dusk Noir in Generation 4, and its, then the addition of the Eviolite as a, as an item in Generation 5, Dusclops became, like, an uber tank. <laughs> really good, a really good tank. I mean, it's not. Um, it's not perfect by any means. Pure Ghost isn't an excellent type, and uh, 
Pure Ghost is an actual excellent type, and it doesn't have an excellent. It doesn't have a, that good a move set. However, the fact that it can that its defenses can be boosted by such such a huge amount just for holding an item, it really is very uh, very disgustingly OP. But I'm going to cut the video here because that looks like an important cutscene up there that I do not want to waste. That, that, that I do not want to uh, to use to go over 20 minutes or so. I'm going to cut the video here. I'll see you guys next time when we see what that stuff is is uh, well, what what that stuff means. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.